Oh shit, what's up, y'all? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Last month I did my first outline for a half sleeve and today Tango's gonna be going over how to shade. So for all you guys that are here to learn how to do tattoos, this video is gonna be super helpful. So let's get it rolling, let's get it started. If you guys can tell, <laughs> it's been pretty cold. I'm like a turtle. <laughs> and if you guys need anything hung on your wall, hit up this guy. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I got the tools for the job. Gotta make sure you turn on your machine. Machine feels good. No rattling sound. Adjusting the needle. I would say it's like a quarter depth right now. I like to start off with about like a quarter depth. And I'm gonna show Alex how to shade scales. Let's go to the second to last drop. After I do my second to last drop, look at my hand. I slide it right there. Uh -huh. I get a little bit of Vaseline. I add it to this area. Just give it a quick thing, a white. Let's say this is a scale. You can get an outline to outline how far you want to go out or just do a light line using the edge of the mag. And that will be as far as you go. And after you do that light line, get to in here. I just got started, so right now I'm First things first is I want to feel how the needle reacts to his skin. Is the needle too long? Is the needle too short? Is the voltage too high? I feel like everything, the voltage feels good, but the needle is a little bit longer than I like because of feeling. Adjust it down just a little bit and then just work that area again. It's starting to feel better. The ink goes in pretty good, but I feel like it's just a tad long. There you go. I went down just a little bit. Now let's try it again, because I'm tuning the machine to his skin, and you do that every time. The first five minutes, when you start on any skin, you want to just go slow and feel, feel the machine and the skin, see how they work together. Okay, start to feel better. And then now I feel confident then I start jamming. See that? Earlier, I was just going a little slow. And now that I feel it, let's get this scale done. Once again, go right here, mark how far you want to go out to keep all of it consistent. Mm -hmm. The white part, the white area that you're going to leave negative. So using the corner, fill it in. Then as you get out wider, you can work a little bit wider. But since you're just doing scale and it's a 15 mag, kind of, I'm not going to flatten out my mag much. I'm just going to have it kind of an angle, just filling it in, using like six to five to six, seven needles of it, rather than the whole 15. And this is a 15 mag, by the way. You see right here? Alex actually outlined this. This is your first tattoo, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm just showing him how to shade before he jumps on and he's about to jump on right now. So we'll get a little video of Alex shading and we'll call it a day for a quick tutorial video. All right, Alex, it's your turn. It's all adjusted pretty much for my apprentices before when they start tattooing, I like to jump in, tune the machine for them and kind of give them a quick demonstration before they start. And I feel like it kind of cuts everything from guessing for them because they're new, they're nervous. And if I dial their machine for them, they just got to do what they need to do rather than trying to figure out why is this ink not going in? Why do I feel so slow? So it helps them become more confident quicker. Sooner than later, Alex is 
gonna be booked out. So go ahead and reach out to him. Get your free tattoo right now <laughs> before he starts charging. All right, Alex, let's do a little bit of filming for you. Are you nervous? No. Okay, you're not nervous. <laughs> All right, guys, let's make him nervous. Alex, you're gonna mess up. Okay. It's gonna hurt. Huh? You're gonna hurt gonna your hurt. client. He's gonna get up and walk away. For your first outline, that's pretty good. Thank you, thank and you. it only can get better from here. Is there a reason why you go with the second cap instead of the first one? Before I used to go with the darkest cap. Yeah. But I feel like the transition go from dark to mid tone and to a light tone is too rough. Goes from super dark to super light. Starting with the second to last, it's dark, but you can always go with black over certain area to give it like now a black highlight, a, a dark shadow. I see. And it looks better. And I have gotten lighter through the years. I don't really do much black. Black is foreshadowing now. Okay. Like deep spot. All right, man. Quit delaying. Just get going already. Hey, just asking questions, man. <laughs> Damn, you're turning the mag sideways instead of using a liner? Not bad. Not bad. Turning the mag sideways is kind of a little difficult sometimes. Yeah, lip up. Make sure you're comfortable. Make sure you're comfortable, okay? Always start from the bottom, bottom corner, the corner, not the top, because. Oh yeah. Okay. See, you started from the top already. Start from the bottom. There you go. White and just check. When you just start, make sure you, you do little spots and wipe and little spot and wipe until you start feeling comfortable. Don't spread the ink so wide and so far when you're just testing. Even though I tune your machine for you and it feels good, but you got to start doing that as for yourself. I it's see. like, is it comfortable for you? Because I might set it up my way, not your way. I see. How's it feel? Feels, uh... It has that little bite to it, right, when you shade? A little bit, yeah. But do you... Does it feel like it's smooth? It's your... Does it feel like you're gliding? Even though it bites, you're still gliding. It's... The machine glides. It's prettier. nicer than the... The rubber fake skin. I feel like it... Saturates a little bit better here. Stay in the corner still a little bit. Don't flatten out so much. Okay. Dip your pinky in water and give it a little clean. And now what you do is turn the mag full sideways and start touching up areas that you feel like it's light. See it? I see a little Ooh. couple light spot. Touch those up first before you start messing around with er different areas. Mag's full sideways, all the way. Tilt on the corner, using the edge only. You can't oh, use, yeah, no more flat. Just, yeah, just poke the areas that uh, is not filled in. Just the corner, okay? Yeah. Yeah, and that's how you, Clean things up. Don't use the full mag. Does it look good to you now? I'm gonna go over this edge part real quick. Cool. Yeah, just be on the corner now. No more, uh, no more flatten out. This this whole area is too tight for you to flatten out. You're only gonna use the edge of the 15. It's not bad. All right. Tell you how you feel and end the video. I'm still learning. I'm still getting adjusted to everything. That was just the first scale, but I'm hoping by the end of the day, I feel really comfortable with like doing scales, doing the transitions and everything. And uh, shout out to Josh for being my first client. You're welcome. <laughs> we'll do a little update video of how it, it looked in a bit once you're done with your day, okay? Okay. Two 
hours later. All right, Alex, not bad on the scale shading. You finished all the scales. Transition's good. But next step to this koi fish is shading the fin. So I'm gonna show Alex how to shade the fin right now. So every now and then you wanna pop this off, the needle off, squeeze it from the back. You wanna use the napkin and clean the needle, make sure it's clean. Mm. And that's how you reset. Cause sometimes you get like napkin fibers and Vaseline. And Vaseline. I go with like a four drop, like a mid tone. His arm lock like this. You see how each line? Mm -hmm. Just pick a side. I'm just gonna pick the underside of that. So the four drop, same thing like, see, with the scale? Just like it, just slowly work it out. But you want the mag kind of, the needle kind of angled. angled this way. So it gives you like that. And just work kind of like on the edge again and just work up slowly. See how I'm, I'm shading the line, mm -hmm. but I'm giving it a little transition on the right side. And just stop right there. And you can do the next one again. Like that, and then you just clean up. You wanna flush out that mid-tone. And you go to like a two drop. And you go back from the beginning where I shade it off and start going forward with the two drop. And just give it a little light touch. Yeah, just, mm. just light. But you're always on edge the whole time working. Yeah, and since you have this light tone already out, it's do two two with mid tone and do with one with one light tone. So it gives it like a little transition of the fins kind of folding. Okay. And then you can go back to a four drop, four drop, one one or two drop and just alternate it. Like you know what I mean? But just do it like that.